Defeating the Fire Nation can be some seriously funny business. Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 funniest Avatar The Last Airbender moments. For this list, we're looking at the most hilarious moments from Nickelodeon's Avatar The Last Airbender. It says here that the Avatar can create tornadoes and run faster than the wind. Pretty amazing. Ah, that's just a bunch of Fire Lord propaganda. There's no way that's true. Number 10. The Cabbage Merchant Misfortune can be funny, and few characters are quite as hilariously tragic as the Cabbage Merchant. Oh, my cabbages! Whenever the Earth Kingdom entrepreneur shows up hoping to sell some beautiful vegetables, the universe seems to conspire to ensure that his cart, cabbages, or both ends up in disarray. Avatar The Last Airbender is a consistently hilarious show, and this random recurring joke highlights the cartoon's talent for goofy but memorable gags. It serves as a testament to Avatar's excellence that a character with so little screen time or development can leave such a long-lasting impression. My cabbages! You're gonna pay for this! Number 9. The Nomads Along their travels, Team Avatar crosses paths with quite a few unique personalities, and the Earth Kingdom nomads are the most relaxed of the bunch. Don't fall in love with the traveling girl, she'll leave you broken, broken heart. Led by the well-meaning but frustratingly chippered Shang, the nomads bring a touch of melody, optimism, and even an idea or two to Team Avatar's lives. <laughs> you're worried too much about where you're going. You gotta focus less on the where and more on the going. In a stroke of genius, Avatar decides to stick the nomads with Sokka, a combination that produces some gut-bustingly funny moments. While these nomads don't show up again, they make the most of their one appearance on Avatar The Last Airbender. Nobody react to what I'm about to tell you. I think that kid might be the Avatar. Number 8. The Boulder Isn't So Conflicted as someone who's mostly introduced to make Toph look awesome, the boulder could easily have been a forgettable and throwaway character. But that is not Avatar The Last Airbender's style. Listen up, hippo. You may be big, but you ain't bad. The boulder's gonna win this in a landslide. With just a few lines, the boulder goes from a fodder enemy to a memorable minor character who also has some depth. Boulder's comically exaggerated mannerisms are splendidly animated, as is the short fight that ensues between the muscular earthbender and the blind bandit. The boulder feels conflicted about fighting a young blind girl. Sounds to me like you're scared, boulder. The boulder's over his conflicted feelings, and now he's ready to bury you in a rock -alanche. This whole encounter plays out like a comedic skit, one that showcases Toph's abilities and personality at the expense of the boulder's future offspring. Oh! Oh! Ah! Number 7. Sokka Gets Owned by the Kyoshi Warriors The greatest attitude adjustments came with a healthy dose of humor. Team Avatar's first run-in with the Kyoshi Warriors does not bring out the best in Sokka who shows off an ugly, misogynistic side. Who are you? Where are the men who ambushed us? There were no men. We ambushed you. Now tell us, who are you and what are you doing here? Wait a second, there's no way a bunch of girls took us down. Luckily, Suki proves to be the perfect person to teach Sokka the error of his ways. I got you! Admit I got you! <laughs> okay, it was a lucky shot. Let's see if you can do it again. Sokka's transformation into a Kyoshi warrior is an important development for the character, even if Aang still manages to get a quick zinger in. Sokka and Suki would go on to form an unbreakable bond, something Zuko almost discovers firsthand. Well, hello! Uh, Zuko, yes! Why would I be expecting anyone different? Number 6. Zuko's Rehearsal Super serious and often conflicted, Zuko does not have much time for comedy, which Avatar The Last Airbender uses to great comedic results. Fine, you caught me. I'm gonna rescue my dad. You happy now? I'm never happy. After turning over a new leaf, Zuko grew less prideful and proved willing to admit to his failings to join Team Avatar. I think it's time I joined your group and taught the Avatar firebending. An act of such vulnerability naturally required practice, so Zuko turned to a badger frog for guidance. It did not help much. Yeah, that's what I'd say too. 
Whether preparing to join his father and nation's enemy or while out on a date, Zuko brings a touch of awkwardness that's not only hilarious, but also makes the firebender even more endearing. Didn't I say don't look? You're right, Zuko. I've seen that girl in here quite a lot. Seems to me she has quite a little crush on you. What? Thank you for the tea. Number 5. Fufu Cuddly Poops When someone is as funny as Sokka, they can be physically immobilized and still bring the laughs. You're awfully cute, but unfortunately for you, you're made of meat. Just a bit closer. While hunting for meat, Sokka gets stuck in a hole and is left to helplessly wait to be rescued. Along with making an adorable friend, Sokka goes through an internal journey of self-discovery as the trapped hero grapples with his mortality. I admit it. You're cute. Okay, you convinced me. If I get out of this alive, it's a karmically correct vegetarian existence for me. No meat. Hang also gives Sokka's hair an impromptu makeover. This entire storyline is hilarious from beginning to end, with the final punchline leaving Sokka's newfound wisdom unshared with the rest of Team Avatar. The whole time I was in that hole, not knowing if I would live or die, it makes a man think about what's really important. I realize. Hey, Katara, look what I can do! Number 4. Momo Fights Appa Avatar The Last Airbender takes several cues from anime, especially in the comedy department. You've got to take care of yourself. You can't go on like this. Therefore, it's only fitting that the show's most obvious homage to Japanese animation is also a laugh riot. With the Day of the Black Sun quickly approaching, a nervous Aang decides to stay awake after suffering a string of revealing nightmares. How do you plan on doing that when you're not even wearing pants? Ah! Oh no! This leads to some even weirder daydreams starring Momo, Appa, and a handy Guru Patik. Packed with references and impressively animated for what's essentially an extended skit, Aang's sleep-deprived mind gives birth to some comedy gold. Come on, guys! We're all on the same side! Chakras! Chakras! Everybody loves chakras! 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 Chakra sandwich is good! Yum! Number 3. Azula's Awkward Flirting for the most part, Azula is terrifying, but Avatar does humanize the Fire Nation princess during Season 3. <laughs> the beach is an especially important episode, as it shows Azula's insecurities around people her age, particularly boys. Azula attempts to sweep Chan off his feet with some sharp lines and a fiery prophecy, but the princess is a bit inexperienced when it comes to flirting. That's a sharp outfit, Chan. Careful, you could puncture the hull of an Empire-class Fire Nation battleship, leaving thousands to drown at sea. Azula is a fantastic villain, but there is more to the character than just sadism and cruelty, and these brief flashes of awkward normalcy add a lot to the Firebender's appeal. Together, you and I will be the strongest couple in the entire world. We will dominate the Earth! Uh, I gotta go. Number 2. Sokka Trips on Cactus Juice Sokka is a comedy god, and the desert allows everyone to bask in the character's glory. After quenching their thirst with some cactus juice, Sokka and Momo go on a trip filled with mushrooms, moons, and vibrant colors. Drink cactus juice. It'll quench ya. Nothing's quenchier. It's the quenchiest! Okay, I think you've had enough. Who lit Toph on fire? This could easily have been a single scene, but Avatar stretches out this plot development for an entire episode, and it is a great decision. While the visuals do change slightly on occasion, we're mostly left to imagine Sokka's hallucinations, which pays off later on in the episode when the joke keeps on coming back to trigger even more laughs. It's a giant mushroom. Maybe it's friendly! Before we unveil our number one pick, here are some honorable mentions. Pants are an illusion, because the Foggy Swamp Tribe is very wise. Is it just me, or are those fellas a little loose in the leaf hat? I just wish they would wear pants. Pants are an illusion, and so is death. Sokka's Water Tribe flex, because Sokka has swag for days. Yeah, you better leave. Hey, I got my eye on you. Water Tribe. Riot Interrupted 
because that is an impressive way to start a prison riot. You wouldn't happen to know how to start one, would you? A prison riot? Please. Hey! Riot! Iroh gets mugged, because it is always a great time for an Iroh lesson. Just give me your money, old man! With a poor stance, you are unbalanced, and you can be easily knocked over. King Boomy, because it is fun messing with people. Why did you do all this instead of just telling Aang who you were? First of all, it's pretty fun messing with people. <laughs> Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. The Ember Island Players When adapting a true story for the stage, some creative liberties are to be expected, as Team Avatar learns too well at the Ember Island Theater. Sokka, my only brother, we constantly roam these icy South Pole seas, and yet never do we find anything fulfilling. The Ember Island Players put on a generally plot-faithful reenactment of Teen Avatar's adventures, while amplifying some less flattering traits of the key characters. Who are you, Frozen Boy? <laughs> I'm the Avatar, silly! Here to spread joy and fun! Wait, is that a woman playing me? In the play, Sokka is turned into a starving comedic relief, Katara cannot stop talking about hope, Aang and Toph swap genders, Azula is shown in a heroic light, and Zuko is mostly spot on. The Ember Island players put on one incredibly entertaining show. I don't have time to stuff my face! I must capture the Avatar to regain my honor! Well, while you do that, maybe I'll capture another slice. You sicken me! They make me look totally stiff and humorless. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Ms. Mojo. And be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.